Hello and welcome back to China. I am here in Shanghai and if I'm honest, it's good to be back, but it's just started raining. It's forecasted to rain the rest of the day and it's not looking good, to be honest. There's other places I'd rather be than Shanghai right now due to the weather, uh, including Paris. Um, hang on, let me just have a look. Convenient, isn't it? Let's go. We got the smallest trees blocking our view. Wait a sec. Here we go. Oh my god. Let's get closer. Well, I never. And there we are, everyone. The Eiffel Tower. And also a bloke with a massive leaf on his head. <laughs> Amazing. So you might be wondering why on earth is there an Eiffel Tower here in Paris? <laughs> In Paris? Oh god. Why on earth is there an Eiffel Tower in China? Well, this place here is called Tian Du Cheng, and Tian Du Cheng is in the northeastern part of Hangzhou City. Uh, it was built in 2007 and it's based on Paris, obviously. If you go that way, you'll see um, the Champs Elysees, which I'll show you later on. This is one of many projects around China that has been based on different cities or different countries' architectural style. So, for example, I've been to Thames Town on the outskirts of Shanghai, which was a replica of an English town. And there's also a, a replica of a Dutch village in Shanghai. Uh, and I've also been to a fake Venice in Dalian in northeastern China, all of which were brilliant. And I came back for China for a few days, I thought, why not go to fake Paris, because I've never been here, and also, it's pretty interesting, you know? Uh, and more importantly, I went to the real Paris about one month ago, so it is time to compare the real Paris to the fake Paris. Right, first thing of note really is the grounds of the Eiffel Tower. As you can see, not very well kept there, still looks like it's uh, industrial work going on, <laughs> and also, overgrown grass that side, turn around, nice little car park and there's also lots of overgrown grass here and there, a little glimpse as we can see the Champs Elysees we will go there next but first let's do a loop of the Eiffel Tower and see if we can get some cool shots of it Just coming up underneath it now, as you can see, it's blocked off from all angles. There's the middle, the hub, and uh, if you look directly up, there's the tower. There is like a second floor here, but there's no, mm, there's a staircase up here. So there would be a way up if it was open. There are a couple of blokes roaming about though, so I'm not sure whether it's a good idea to go up there. It seems to be in pretty decent condition to be fair. There's a couple of like, see there that's like a, the paint's worn off there it's definitely not as big as the eiffel tower in paris the eiffel tower in paris is 300 meters tall and this bad boy here 108 meters tall so just over a third of the height but still pretty big to be fair it's just a little bit of a juxtaposition so we've got the tower behind me turn around ah oh. Fly tipping. <laughs> Let's have a look, see if we can find anything good. Lots of cigarettes, bike tire, old banana peel, uh, a few little plastic tubs. Let's go this way. I reckon we'll find some goodies in the middle over here by the green netting. Ooh. 
Well, good news for all the ginger folk out there. Uh, as you obviously have no souls, you can get a soul here, free of charge. It's a VIP soul, look at that. Whoa. You can only find that kind of premium product here at the Eiffel Tower in Hangzhou. Coming up to the Champs Elysees, that guy's getting a photo in the back of the taxi there. Wee. <laughs> Look at the architecture. If that isn't Parisian, I don't know what is. Even the amount of floors it is looks about right. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six floors, and uh, a seventh in the attic there. It looks legitimate. I won't lie. It's just the restaurants underneath, the shops underneath, with all the Chinese writing, obviously, takes you out at the moment. You realise you're in China, but. If you crop that off and just see the top half, that you can tell the differences, but you wouldn't be able to tell you're in China. Genuinely very impressive how real the imitation is. I'm impressed anyway. Anyway, let, let's walk down the Champs Elysees now. And um, who knows, if we're lucky, I'll get myself a croissant. <laughs> We have a patisserie. Ooh my, my tien. Let's go in. Chinese bakeries are very different to Western bakeries. So let's see, if there is a crass on it, I will be shocked. Custard tarts. Hang on a sec. That's a crass on. That looks like a crass on. I'm getting it. <laughs> okay, for 13 kuai 90, I've got a croissant of some sort. It's got, I think, I hope that's chocolate or cocoa. Oh, there's a dog, hang on. Just say hello to the dog. Ni hao. Ni hao, xiao go go. Let's try this croissant and see if it lives up to the French level. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's just try it. Let's try it and see if it's any good. All right, here I am on the Champs Elysees. I've got my croissant. Let's give it a try. It's a little bit salty. That is chocolate on top. Generally, 7 out of 10. That is decent. That is really decent. I'm surprised that is good. <laughs> fair play. To be fair, I mean, it is Paris. Why well, am I surprised? <sighs> Yum. See everyone's homes, got their, their clothes hanging out to dry. On the surface, it seems quite, quite a funny concept. The, fake Paris but the locals here they've made it their own and honestly like you can't fault them for it if <laughs> it might look different in the future it might have looked different when it first opened 15 years ago but yeah it's quite nice to see everyone just mingling get on with their day it's not special to anyone the only person here that is gawping is me you can clearly see as well how this area is way better maintained than the, around the Eiffel Tower. Which makes sense. People actually live right here compared to um, the Eiffel Tower back there. No one lives there. It's just massive circle. You saw it. I mean, you saw it. There's no one's there. And <laughs> I can't help but laugh there at Paolo Pedro. I think that's meant to be... <laughs> this supposed to be a Ralph Lauren <laughs> knockoff. Um, and also... Happiness starts from trust, that's good. Coming to the end of the Champs Elysees and it's pleasant, quite pleasant. If you're ever in Hangzhou or in Shanghai or Jiangsu province, Zhejiang province, that area for a couple of weeks could be a fun, fun little excursion that you could do in an afternoon or in the morning. But yeah, I've only been here about hour, an hour and a half and I've been taking it very slow. Yeah, the metro connects it to here, really well connected, easy to get to and pff, most of all, you got the Eiffel Tower there, mate. What more do you want? Alright, All right, guys, here we go. Whatever this is, <laughs> let's go up it and see what the view's like. Got my ticket for Tiendu Park. Apparently it costs 40 kwai. So, uh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, my train's in a couple of hours. Well, I've got about an hour left here. Alright, here we go. The view from the top of Tiendu Park. Pretty stunning, isn't it? <laughs> Who could tell? Ignore this right in here. See, you can't tell you're in China. We're in France, surely. Very nice, though. 
That was worth the 40 quai. Just on the other side of Tendu Park now. Got some guys fishing there. It's quite nice actually, quite scenic. If it wasn't a, a foggy, misty day, that'd look spectacular. This here, I'm not sure if this is still part of the French theme to be honest. I saw a sign back there saying this is the Golden Ladies Club, V Club. Don't know what that's about. River's looking quite nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's still the River Seine, but whatever. Yeah, I'm pressed for time here, so I'm gonna do a quick little walk that way, and then uh, it will be time to head back to the metro, and I'm gonna get the train back to Shanghai tonight. Very nice indeed. Lovely bit of scenery here. Just the other side of the fake Paris. And this is proper China. And it's what I miss from living here, to be honest. What a lovely note to end on. Let's go back to fake Paris and see if we missed anything. Just had a lovely chat with a, <laughs> a 12 year old. He said he'd been to England and he loves Tower Bridge. So there we are. I think that's it for fake Paris. One last look at the Eiffel Tower while we're here. Why not? But yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, because this is a pretty unique area, even though the Eiffel Tower is not unique in itself. This isn't unique, but this existing is a unique concept, I think. So yeah, Champs-Élysées, Eiffel Tower, fake Paris, au revoir. <laughs>